today I want to show you how to set up an ADB connection with your smartphone or tablet without having to use a USB cable at all. Most people will choose to connect a USB cable to their Android device when they want to do something with ADB. In some cases, this is best because most of the time it will give you a faster connection. But there are some instances when using a USB cable for this connection just isn't possible. Maybe your USB cable recently broke and you don't have an extra one laying around. Or maybe you're having issues with a USB port on your computer. There can also be instances when a wireless connection is just more convenient. So, so no matter what your reasons are, we are able to set this up on any smartphone or tablet running Android 11 or later. To begin, we need to enable what is commonly referred to as developer mode. If this is something that you're not familiar with, then be sure to check the video description below for links to a dedicated video that I have already done which show you all of the steps involved in enabling developer mode. Once this has been enabled, we can search for options in the settings application and that should reveal the previously hidden developer options menu. Now we just need to scroll down a little bit until you see the debugging section. This should be close to the top and it shouldn't take much scrolling to find. Usually when we want to execute ADB commands on our smartphone or tablet, we need to enable the USB debugging option because we're making that connection over a USB cable. But if you plan on using wireless debugging, then that toggle doesn't need to be enabled at all. Instead, we want to enable the toggle next to the wireless debugging feature as shown here. You may get a prompt appear right here, especially if this is your first time enabling the feature. And we're just gonna tap on the allow option. Once this feature has been enabled, then we need to tap on the name of this option instead of just tapping on the toggle so that we can go into the details area. If this is your first time using the wireless debugging feature, then you won't see anything in this paired device section. And in order to proceed, we need to pair our desktop PC with our smartphone or tablet first. So let's tap on the paired device with pairing code option. And this is gonna give you a pop-up down here at the bottom with some details. Now we're going to turn our attention to the PC and we need to open up a command prompt a Windows PowerShell or a terminal window within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. If you do not have ADB and Fastboot files installed on your computer yet, then I'll include a link to a dedicated tutorial that I have done in the video description below that will show you how to set that up. In this pop-up right here, we also need to make note of the IP address and the port number displayed right here. So with our command prompt open here, we're going to type out the command adb space pair space, and now we need to type out the IP address that was shown on our device. After that IP address, we need to type out a colon and then type out the port number 
that was displayed at the bottom of that screen. With this typed out, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. And if you type that out correctly, it should ask you for a pairing code. So again, look at our smartphone or tablet and type out that pairing code that we saw. As long as we get a successfully paired message here, then we have set this part up correctly. Once we have paired our two devices together, we can then make the wireless debugging connection over Wi-Fi. So let's look at our phone again. And again, we need to make note of the IP address and the port number that we see here on this page. Before, we got that IP address and port number from the pop-up down here at the bottom. When we want to make that wireless debugging connection, we now need the IP address and port number that is listed up here. So now we can attempt to make that connection to wireless debugging over Wi-Fi by typing out the command ADB space connect space and then we type out the IP address that we see on our device along with a colon and then the port number that again we see on our device. With that all typed out we're going to press enter on the keyboard and you should see that we are now connected to that IP address through that port number. If you see that then that means the connection is successful and when this connection has been made we also get a notification about it on our device. From here, if we want, we could drop into an ADB shell. And again, remember we do not have a USB connected to our smartphone. You can see that there is no USB cable connected. And while we have that wireless debugging connection made, we're going to be told that with the notification here at the top. If we want, we could tap this to disconnect, or we could do it from here, and then we would no longer have that wireless connection. I hope this has helped anyone who has ever seen the wireless debugging feature and wondered how it could be used. In most cases, I think using a USB cable is going to be easier and faster for people. But I do understand that not everyone has the equipment or the setup to make it that easy and convenient. In those instances, using the wireless debugging feature on Android 11 and later can be a better option for people to try out.